Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again. It's Chaffee Week. Chaffee Week 2023. It's Chaffee Week. I love the Chaffee. This thing is amazing and I love it. So I'm going to do five videos in a row, Monday through Friday, just with the Chaffee. You can do anything. It's got two engines. It's got scouting. It's fast. It's got five for four or something reverse speeds. It can back up quick. Doesn't have much armor, but it's decent gun too. So you can't get, I don't know. For me, this is the one right here. 3.3 battle rating, which makes it pretty competitive against mostly uh, everything that it will see. So, we use forward reverse, we use the scouting. It's got a 50 caliber gun on top. I mean, it's got everything. The beauty of this tank is that it was designed, here we go. What was that guy doing? That's a little, that's a little too easy to start. All right, well, that's a good way to start the week. Here we go. Into the game, we're gonna start scouting. We're gonna uh, use our tools, our, our artillery. We're gonna do all those things throughout the game. There we go, there's another one. So, the armor on this thing isn't spectacular. The front of the turret, I think, has pretty decent armor, but the rest of this thing, you can take it out with guns from the top. If you're in a plane with cannons especially, just come right down on top of this thing and you can, you can finish the job pretty easily. But the uh, M24, as you all know if you've watched any of the other M24 videos with the history, uh, it's got Cadillac engines, which is super cool. And Cadillac also, if you watch the M56 video from a little while back, there's a couple of them, but there's a more recent one that we talked a little bit about history in that one. Oh, come on. And shooting on... Oh my gosh. I don't find it sporting in general to um, ram. I probably should have rammed that guy just to finish the oops. Uh, just to finish finish the job so he couldn't kill any of my teammates, but I don't know. Maybe I'll ram more often in the future. I know I've ran people before. So, ah. Through the fire. Thought I was gonna have a good shot there. This thing started uh, post-World War II um, and it ran for a long time. They built almost 5,000 of these things. Like I said, Cadillac built the engines but they also produced it. And then a, I think a tractor company huh. I think a tractor, that guy I'm surprised he hasn't moved. You think, I hit him twice and it didn't tend but I feel like right through that window I don't know if he's realized he's getting hit. There we go. Need to be a little higher to get through that front plate. Uh, Cadillac and Massey Harris, I think? Massey Ferguson? Massey Harris, maybe back then, and then maybe it became Massey Ferguson later on, but they produced this thing. Like I said, they almost 5,000 of them. M6, 75 millimeter cannon. And really, the main thought of it was that the M3 Stewart couldn't do much as far as, you know, it, it, the shortcomings were becoming very obvious, cannon size and, you know, usability as far as the crew goes and all that kind of, oh my gosh, my artillery got that guy. Um, so then, you know, obviously we need to move on at some point, right, to get into... Uh, kind of the next generation of tanks at that time. So this one started uh, in the early 40s. By the time it got into service, basically the war was over. It got into service in World War II in 1944, which I guess is why they consider it a post-war, because it was in service until, what, 50, the early 50s, which I guess would get it into... Uh, I hate to say it, but I don't know when Korea started, so right off the top of my head. But I think it gets it into the Korean War. Uh, and then it was used all around the world after that for a long, long time. Let's see what's going on. To me, it's 
I mean, it, it's an amazing combination. It's basically like an M3. It's got the speed, uh, but with a cannon that can actually do something. All right, speaking of doing something, let's see if we can do anything with these rockets. I'm terrible with rockets. I don't know if you guys are any good with rockets. I can't, I mean, I can't figure them out. They drive me insane. I know when I get closer, I gotta get them down a little bit more, but that was pathetic. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, I got back just in time to move out of the way of the arty there. So we're covering B here, and I know... Oh, that was kind of cool. I wish I would have been a better shot, but you can see the reverse speed. I mean, I backed right out of there super fast, and I think it's got four reverse gears. I can't... four... I think it's four. Four or five, but anyway. And this thing came with torsion bar suspension, which was... I don't know who developed it first, but it was common on German tanks, um, and not as much, as far as I remember, on American tanks. American tanks had either that vertical volute, the HVSS was one, and then just the standard uh, leaf springs was another very common. Oh, this guy's gonna, oh no, he's gonna drive right in front of him. Well, okay, maybe he's looking, oh, there we go. Ooh, that was lucky too, jeez Louise. That should have, I think that, I feel like that should have been a ricochet, but, oh well. Alright, works for me. So, this thing, they needed speed. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm going to keep covering B. I think it's going to work here. I mean, as I keep covering it, hopefully my guys will be able to push up and get into B. Like I said, this thing doesn't have a ton of armor, so taking it straight in... You know, not generally a super good idea. Um, usually what I'll do, I'll hang back and work these areas and then start pushing forward toward the end. That's what I like to do. And I'm about to get in this plane, so pop smoke, get in the plane, off we go. Huh. Okay. Things seem to be freezing up a bit here. This is the realistic experience of playing War Thunder sometimes. And I don't know why... I'm not on Wi-Fi, I'm on a wired connection here. And I'm not living in space or in the middle of nowhere, so I guess just one of those things. All right, well, I'm gonna keep working in here and try and see if I can, well, okay, well, I guess that guy's not as sporting as I am. Plow, plow into opposition, I guess. Wow, it's still locking up, okay. Well, let's ignore this and see if it kicks me out or if it's gonna let the game, oh, yeah. How'd I end up over here? Um, like I said, I'm just going to keep covering B here. See what happens. There's nobody over here right now. Looks like most of my team's pushing up toward their spawn, so I'm going to go join them in a little support role. So now we'll use the Chaffee Speed, the twin 220 horsepower Cadillac V8s to get big air and go fast across the map to get into a position to help our team. So let's see, where can we go to help them the best? Let's see, I'll drop artillery on those guys that are stuck behind that house. And then, oh, uh oh, well they are here. And miss, sweet. Oh boy, now I'm in trouble. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, this is not ideal. Okay, well, that, that'll work. That's a good start. Now, I got his gunner for sure. Remember the Stug? On the Stug, you want to go for the vehicle left. That's where the gunner, gunner, driver, loader probably are. So, we can get over there. We're in good shape in this game. I'm in big trouble here, though. I, my tail end is sticking out. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Oh, the guy that I got got me. I didn't get him good enough. Oh well, okay. Well, we're in good shape in this game. That was a nice round for the M24 Chaffee. Seven kills, two assists. Oh, this game's over. All right, I'm just gonna hang out. Check the stats. Maybe check my email. Game over, M24. For the win. That'll work. That was a good game. I mean, you know, kills-wise and winning and... All that kind of stuff. That's a good game. Yo, M24. Four more videos. This is the first one. We'll see 
I don't know which ones or what I'm going to do to get the rest of them, but I'm going to get these together. Once I get five good games, then I'm going to put them all together, and it's going to be Chaffee Week 2023. I should probably have an echo effect on that or something, but anyway. All right, let's see here. Stats. Mustard Method. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 to 6. We had less zeros than ones. We win the game. Thanks for watching the first day of Chaffee Week 2023. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Have fun. We'll see you in the next one.